Oh, I got some more information I want to drop about that. Gunman. Apparently, he four days ago, or maybe nine hours or something like that, he flew a shooter and assessed his attempt on former Donald Trump, flew a drone over the field, just the grounds where the rally was held July the 13th. Three law enforcement sources familiar with the federal investigation and issued a toast CBS on Saturday morning. If you are still probing exactly when the shooter identified as 22 year old Thomas Matthew Cork flew the drone, law enforcement said they believe, however, that it was in days of the rally, although it remains unclear if he flew the drone hours or days prior to the event. The Wall Street Journal was the first to report the use of a drone at the rally site. CBN News report reported that a drone was among the items recovered by investigation from the shooter's vehicle. According to three sources, families with the United States Secret Service, familiar with the U.S. Secret Service and FBI joint briefing, called lawmakers on Wednesday. Two explosive devices, a tactical vest with plates in the front and back, Four magazines full of the same ammo used in the attack were also found in the shooter's vehicle. During the call, lawmakers also learned that the shooters sort out online photos of Butler Farm shunt grounds, the site of the rally, and a May search about Alicia Arms and a gun shop in Barrett Park, Pennsylvania, where he lived. They also was told that he visited the site of the rally at least once before the attack, sources told NBC News. In the days after the rally was announced, he made internet searches related to Trump, President Biden, and former President whereabouts on May thir- July 13th, and Democratic National Conference. In a statement on Friday, Butler Farm Show said they involved in the rally was simply rented a venue to Trump's campaign. The Butler Farm Show is fully incorporated with the FBI ongoing investigation into this incident. They say in a statement, according to the CBS Pittsburgh Federation A. KDKA, due to the sensitive nature of the investigation, we have been unable to comment on events until now. Over the next few days, federal law enforcement will face questions from lawmakers about how the government was able to pull off the shooting. Secret Service Director Kimberly Chutes is scheduled to testify to the White House oversight community on Monday morning, while FBI Director Wall will testify before the House Jury Committee on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Trump was back on the Canada trial after he was eventually named the Republican Party. Basically, he had it all planned out. Basically, he was hired by the Democrats. Basically, y'all want to believe the Democrats didn't have to do it? Basically, y'all fucking idiots. He declared that Trump was still experiencing intimate bleeding that requires the dress to be put on in place. According to Jackson, no statutes were required. Basically, they tried John F. Kennedy and Donald Trump. Basically, they tried Abraham Lincoln him. Because Democrats are dirty. This is not the first time Democrats had a member of President killed. They had Ronald Reagan try to get assassinated and get killed. John Kennedy was killed by another former vice president. I'm telling you, they try John F. Kennedy, Donald Trump, because see, they know, they know their days are numbered. They know once he, Donald Trump's getting office, all the crooked politicians from the Senate all the way down to the justices all throughout the country are going to be out of a job. They don't want that. And all y'all people is dancing and voting and laughing, hee 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 hoo hoo ha. All that when Donald Trump was shot. Y'all faces on the news. Y'all was videotaped on the news. Y'all was receiving a letter in the mail telling y'all bitch ass liberals and Democrats to come up to the jails to bring yourselves in. That's all I gotta say. Good night.